we're going to use the definition of the derivative to differentiate f of x equals to x plus 5 divided by x plus 12. So recall the definition of the derivative of f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. We're going to do this in four steps. Step one is to compute f of x plus h. Wherever you see x in f of x, you're going to replace it with x plus h. So there is an x in the numerator. It becomes x plus h. Then we add a 5. There's also an x in the denominator. It becomes x plus h. And we're going to add a 12. That's the end of step 1. Step 2, compute f of x plus h minus f of x and simplify as much as possible. This is x plus h plus 5 divided by x plus h plus 12 minus x plus 5 divided by x plus 12. So we're going to compute this and simplify it. The common denominator will be the product of the two denominators. So we're going to multiply each of the terms by the respective den other denominator divided by itself. So the first term will be multiplied by x plus 12 over x plus 12. And this is times x plus h plus 5 divided by x plus h plus 12. And then minus x plus 5 divided by x plus 12 times x plus h plus 12 divided by x plus h plus 12. So the common denominator is going to be x plus 12 times x plus h plus 12. And then the numerator, let's do this, the product of these two first. We have x squared and then plus xh plus 5x plus 12x plus 12h plus 16. Let's put this in parentheses. Minus, let's multiply these two terms. We have x times x, again, is x squared, plus xh, plus 12x, plus 5x, plus 5h, plus 60. And now, let's simplify. In fact, everything in the numerator does not have an 8 will cancel. In fact, one piece, one term with h will also cancel. First, x squared minus x squared cancel. Here we have 5x minus 5x cancel. 12x minus 12x cancel. 60 minus 60 cancels. In fact, even this xh cancels with this xh. What's left in the numerator is 12h minus 5h, which is 7h. So the numerator is 7 times h. The denominator, x plus 12 times x plus h plus 12. That's the end of step two. Let's go to step three. In step three, we are going to compute f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. At the end of step two, we simplified and computed f of x plus h minus f of x. Recall, of course, it's right above. It's 7h divided by x plus 12 times x plus h plus 12. And now we're going to divide this by h. Now to simplify this, this is just like a divided by b divided by c, which is the same as a divided by b times c. So this is equivalent to 7h divided by h times x plus 12 times x plus h plus 12. So the h's cancel. And we're left with 7 in the numerator divided by x plus 12 times x plus h plus 12. And that's the end of step 3. Let's go to step 4. Step 4 is the finished product. f prime of x is the limit as h goes to 0. 
f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. We just computed this part. That's the end of step 3. So all we have to do is take the limit as h goes to 0 of 7 divided by x plus 12 times x plus h plus 12. Note that x does not go to 0. It is h that goes to 0. There's only one h, this h here. It goes to 0. And we're left with 7. Now the limit has been taken. Divided by x plus 12 times x plus 12, which is 7 divided by x plus 12 squared. So to summarize, using the definition of the derivative, we started with the function f of x equals to x plus 5 divided by x plus 12. Use the definition, we found its derivative equals to 7 divided by x plus 12 squared. For more videos, visit www.math prep videos dot com